So I picked up this MBRP uh, performance exhaust can for my 96 Skidoo MXZ 670. And uh, the pipe's going to remain stock, but I'm going to pull out this uh, exhaust uh, canister here. As you can see, it's quite large. And put this smaller one in. And uh, they say in the part number here, that's the part number. It's a one horsepower gain, 13 pound weight saving. So it's obviously not a performance uh, increase by that much, but the weight saving should help a bit. So I'm going to just do a review and show you how to install this. So this is what's included. You get the can, obviously, instructions, couple stickers, some heat shield tape, uh, this bracket which um surprised wasn't welded on here that would uh, basically take the place to hold the of this bracket to hold these springs um, and you get this washer which sits on here where your little rubber mount here will pop out and rest on that um, the quality of the can it's not bad like I don't know, to me the welds aren't what I really expected. I figured it would be a little bit nicer than that. You know, but overall it's not too bad. The finish is nice on it. Um, you know, obviously they welded on the exhaust uh, spring hooks up here. So what I'll do now is just show you how to pop that out and um, put this one in. So first thing you need to do to install a can on this um, is just basically pop out the uh, existing one. And you just basically have to unhook all these springs. Yours may have a couple down here. There's a couple underneath. All of these guys. Um, you might not have to pull the pipe out, but I'm going to in this case. So basically unhook those. There is a special tool that will basically just hook around there, pull out, and uh, get those off. If you don't have that, um, a pair of pliers will work. The other thing I do is just loop a piece of wire around and just pull on it, and uh, that'll get them off uh, easier than pliers, I find. Okay, so I got that old can out and the support um, that holds it in. Just a couple um, nuts here. Two plates squished together, so you just loosen those off. It'll slide right out. Two 13 mils down here. These ones are 10 mil, and that'll come right out. Um, this bracket down here is riveted in. Um, you could drill those out if you really wanted to. It's not going to affect anything um, if you wanted to save a little bit more weight, but I'm just going to leave that in for now. And I uh, pulled out all the um, heat tape. That was down here. Most of it was lifting up already. It came out really easy. And then just clean this up a bit. Okay, so I got all the springs on. And that's the can in place there. Actually fit in fairly well. I was a little worried uh, the way it was uh, lining up at first, but it did fit in nicely. So that bracket, um, basically what I've done is just put the washer on, like they say, taking that rubber mount out of the stock. Um, exhaust put it on here and what I'm gonna have to do is just get that welded up like that so when that's welded up as you can see I'll be able to attach the um, the springs at this point to give the back end of the pipe some support and just obviously made sure when I lined everything up that the pipes not coming in contact with anything but that's basically it
last thing I'm going to do here is just mark uh, with a Sharpie um, a line going across here, one here, and then here and here as well. Just um, where I want that welded up and I'll take it into a, uh, a shop to get that done. Um, obviously, you know, if you got a welder, you can do it yourself, but I don't. So that's about as good as it lines up. You know, so it's not perfect, but that's as good as I can get it. I'm just lifting up on that a bit to give, uh, to take pressure off. Um, so it's not sagging down like this. Just like that. Making sure all my uh, joints there are good. And there as well. And that's basically it.